Yo, what up? Jewel Santana. God willing. This is the New York MC's comeback mixtape. He was once a member of the Diplomats, and he also had a solo album called What the Game's Been Missing. Personally, I didn't listen to any of this, so this mixtape served as my introduction to his music. I gotta say, I'm unimpressed. I like 4 out of 18 tracks. What I like about Drew Santana are his punchlines. In, in case of lyrics, it's the strongest suit, and he comes up with a good one, fairly regularly. He sounds good over grimy New York beats like I'm Bad Guy with Jadakiss. The beat is grimy, the punchlines are on point. Good song. Same goes for Show Enough, which is the intro. He's smart with putting his strongest songs in the front of the project, but the progression goes from decent to god awful. He blurred his little Reese and Bounce featured monstrosities all the way at the end. The one thing Jules Santana can't do is write a decent hook. Every time he ends up repeating some mundane line numerous and way too many times. This ruins songs like The Wale Assisted Awesome for me. He put just another bullet in the hole to his already terrible tracks with his hooks as well. He gets recent rappers and producers to help like Rick Ross, Wale, Meek Mill, or Jalil Beats. But he gets attention this way, but it feels thirsty and desperate. He doesn't sound good over the re more commercial tracks. And the verses as well as the productions are just one level under average. And he, it's a really by the numbers release, but it's below average quality. And I wouldn't want to listen to his next album. It doesn't. I don't think it would sound good. I find that it really undeservedly went platinum on that piff. He tries the commercial party way many, many times, but he fails just as often as he tries. He just sounds out of place and not good. It's not a good look for him. For all I cared, he could have stayed retired. And for all I know, he just has whack music since I did not know his legacy. He sounds good over grimy beats, and he has some good punchlines. But the rest is awful, especially his hooks. On today's commercial hip-hop, he sounds bad, and that's for the most part what he does. He just has nothing I'd get excited about to have five.